Hello everyone, we meet again. In my previous video, I show you uh, how to fix the gimbal problem with this uh, rubber tape. See? So I'm gonna replace this rubber tape today with this material. I found this around my house. I don't know what it is. Uh, I just need this little thing, the rubber thing. I'm gonna cut it just a little bit and stick it to replace the part that broken inside this DJI Osmo. Okay, I will show you after this. Okay, before that, I'm gonna answer some question. Some people ask me how to open this cover. You know, this is a uh, cover from the gimbal, from the axis rotation. For me, it's simple. Uh, with a needle, you just stick this somewhere around and then stick it out. Just like that. Yes. You peel out and you can see inside the cover. Today we're gonna remove this cover again and try to replace uh, the missing thing with this small rubber here. part uh, with channel here okay this track is keeping the gimbal moving on the right track and then this is the broken part as you can see something missing here this is the broken part I'm gonna replace this with uh, some rubber I'm gonna stick it with the special glue. I hope uh, this glue can hold the rubber to this metal thing. Okay, let's try. So the idea is uh, we need to make a replacement this small rubber. It must fit in this track and then can move like that okay so I figured out that uh, this rubber just a little bit bigger than the track so I'm gonna make a little bit adjustment I'm gonna make it a little bit small I think and I try I hope it's gonna fit on this track so uh, I'm gonna use this uh, razor at, or uh, cutter. I'm gonna make this rubber smaller than the original. Just a little bit, just like that. Cut a little bit uh, on the left side. Just like that, left and right. Okay. Okay. Okay, see, this is the adjustment that I make. You can see the difference between right and left. This is a little bit smaller. We're gonna try uh, to put in on the track, see, 
put inside and move. But I think it's a little bit, still a little bit uh, bigger. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit more. Okay, as you can see, the new one this is smaller than the left one. So I hope it's gonna make it. Try it. So I'm gonna cut it and put in this thing like that. Yeah. I'm going to make sure, uh, see, I'm going to make sure just a little bit, uh, okay, I'm gonna, this is how I make a measurement, tuck, tuck. I'm gonna cut it just a little bit right here okay alrighty now sharp and clean I'm gonna clean this up so you can see this is the rubber thing that I make I'm gonna replace this thing I'm gonna put this to the broken part so it's gonna be like that okay see just like that and I'm gonna cover it again put it back just like this see if it doesn't work means I put it too high then I'm gonna cut a little bit more Okay, I think this is uh, good enough, small enough. Nah, I'm gonna use this. Okay, put it on the side. Don't lose it. So we're gonna prepare this uh, epoxy glue. It can be used for the, uh, see, uh, wood, metal, uh, tundal rock, ceramic, and plastic. Okay, I hope it can hold and the rubber with the metal. Okay, the box is ready. We just put just a little bit at this side. Okay. And other side 
which is the the rubber we put a little bit on the rubber just a little bit like that okay we're gonna keep this a five minute and then we're attached to this camera okay it is already five minutes we're gonna stick this thing to the broken part here i hope it's gonna stick last and it's not gonna fall down now i don't know how to put the small thing here in this side because the glue is so strong okay oh it's easy okay this is the uh, presentation of this thing i'm gonna put this black thing to this broken part with the glue oh i don't have any good stuff yes just like that okay see that maybe a little bit closer oh this is the last see you can see from above that this thing is stick it already Okay. Mm. Put a little bit press pressure. Move a little bit on the side. I think it's moving. Okay. Press a little bit. already as you can see i stick this small part small rubber to the broken part so i hope it's gonna stay forever here okay i read the instruction that we need to wait until a six hour until this thing stronger okay i see you in six hour and we're gonna try this i hope it's gonna be a success see you okay uh, it is now more than six hours since we uh, stick this thing on the gimbal actually it is almost 24 hour i hope this uh, glue can hold this uh, little thing uh, forever here so before we put the cover back to the gimbal uh, we're gonna try this i hope this uh, work properly so there is no obstruction or anything and then we don't need to put any uh, rubber tape here again and again let's try <clears throat> it works see 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 this little things work very good with uh, a little bit help from the metal adhesive with the expo epoxy okay tit lock very good let's try again ooh la la very nice
Opa! Oke. Okay. <coughs> And now we're gonna put this cover back because it has the rotation track here. I hope this track, this little thing, is not gonna affect to this track. There is no obstruction, so it can move freely. Okay, we're gonna put it back just like that. Okay, and I hope the movement is free enough. See, all right. Okay, now the track is uh, installed already here, and we're gonna try again to turn it on. Ooh, very nice. See, there is no error message of the gimbal. Okay, <coughs> and then. Put the cover back on, just stick it like that. Put a little bit press. If you want to put additional uh, double tap inside, it's okay. Just make sure your double tap doesn't make any obstruction. So the gimbal can move freely up and down, just like that. Okay, so this is from the right. Uh, rotation axis this is my problem uh, maybe if you have a problem in this axis you can open this thing and uh, figure it out if anything broken so you can uh, do the same thing with other side with the right uh, rotation axis or if your problem is in this the lower rotation axis then Uh, you will do the same thing with this thing with this rotation axis so okay all up all set there you go bang hey. okay as you can see here we don't need to put any more the rubber tape here so it, this is now rubber tape free you can see yeah see up and down it's free from rubber tape tape So if you think this uh, video is good enough, this video can help you to fix your DJI Sumo gimbal problem, please like, comment, and share uh, as for as many as you can. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Enjoy. Uh, see you next video. Ciao.